Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. Yuki, move, move. Get out of the way. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you again for joining me for another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Um, we are back in the evil people's hideout. I have no idea what they're called at the moment, so they are going to be the evil people. Um, yeah. I don't think we can go through the store. Um, but yeah, so we're going to try and make our way through the hideout. Um, our team has not changed really, uh, mainly because I still am working on these to open the doors to their hearts. Um, Skip Loom is still chilling. I'm actually going to swap out Ms. Drevis for Espeon because I want to level up Espeon because um, it's one of the few Pokemon I can level up right now. I'm going to guess I'm going to fight you. Let's see. Oh, I was right. What do you think you're doing here? See, last time I left here before saving and everything at that Pokemon station down there because I knew I wasn't in any shape to fight another person and lo and behold, I would have had to fight him. Woohoo! Yeah. It looks like there's... Okay, I was gonna say, it looked like there's a tiny sliver on Flaffy, but it just disappeared. So we good. Actually, we're gonna reflect, and Flaffy is gonna thunder shock. Nice, nicely, nicely. All right. Here we go. Flaffy is pretty darn slow. One hit wonder. <laughs> Oh, I should play some Pokemon Stadium on here, too. Just, just do a random one-shot episode of all the different minigames and everything. One shot, one shot! Well, it would one shot brain not work right. I was looking at another screen. I forgot that I had used return. But yeah. Darn straight, I'm too straight for you, Pike. Pike. That's an interesting word. A useful weapon. X1 would agree with me. I have no match. I must level up some more. Yeah, also you have like a level 30 something hoot hoot. That thing should have been knocked out long ago, bro. And with that tailo, that should have been a swellow. Try evolving! Unless you're like really attached to them, and I guess that's cool. Um, yeah, now that we have access to that, that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and clear out the rest of the floor though. Too bad for you, this elevator's off limits. We'll see if it's off limits. What's up, Kai? Kai? K? Kai? Tim? This. This does not bode well for Flaffy. <laughs> this does not bode well for Flaffy. Wait, Flaffy's good now. I can swap out Flaffy. Um, still do reflect, but we're gonna bring in Ms. Drevis again. Because Ms. Drevis can't get hit by your ground moves since you're both ground. Is Bam Bampy solid ground? I don't know if Dawn Fan's rock ground. I think it's pure ground. And I am not about to waste my time trying to figure it out. Because I'm. It's not gonna help me right now. Little sad you did that to Ms. Drevis. Not gonna lie. Hey -o. Yeah, I think that's one thing that made this game kind of harder, is most of your Pokemon are stuck at like level 30 all the while as you progress. Um, did... No, I hit. I was about to say, wait, did I miss? Um, but yeah, you're, I'm stuck around level 30 while my opponents 
are still growing in level, which is why I want to keep using like Espeon and Umbreon some, because they are going to be kind of what we have to rely on for higher level mons. That and I think are kind of cool. On my original playthrough, I never used them. I was just like, Shadow Pokemon, cool. So that's what was done. Espeon can do some damage now. She really can. I think she's doing good. Dun dun! This didn't happen! Yes, it did, Kai. I promise you it did just happen. Now let me on that elevator. Probably not. No matter what, this elevator is off limits. Lame! Fine, I'll go upstairs. I saw a chest behind that door. I see another chest over there. That's one cool thing I like about this is they're f -f 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 My Pokemon are looking for the chance to go wild. Booyah! Who says booyah? Well, I guess this is a little bit of an older game. Makes sense. Hey Larvitar. Carvana. Carvana? Carvana? No, it can't be Carvana. I mean, I guess it... Okay, you're not dark type yet. You know, I forgot to switch out Flaffy for another Pokemon, and it's okay! Because that Carvana... is about to get nuked by Flaffy. It might just be Thundershock, but it's gonna hit like a truck. <laughs> that was a terrible laugh, I apologize. I see that how badly that just like spiked in there. Yeah, that's the thing, when I play these, I'm actually technically recording directly on OBS, so like... My screen is a tiny little screen with all my OBS stuff on there. I could have it bigger, but I want to be able to keep track of my audio levels because this is barboge water ground types are always just mean because you're like water electric oh wait which I guess is why one of the reasons I love mudkip so much is because it is such a good typing until you run into a grass pokemon and then you hate your life <laughs> What was that? I didn't even pay attention. I'm just over here clicking buttons. I kinda want Ms. Drevis to go into hyper mode real quick. No such luck. Really, because hyper mode would mean I could like get sh some more moves back more quickly. It'd be nice. If I can get Espeon to 32, I'll swap back over to Umbreon. Okay. My Pokemon don't look like they've gone wild enough, but I'll let you off just this time. This time. Your Pokemon look... I was gonna say dead, but that's kind of like... No, don't say dead, because Pokemon don't die. Abnormality detected. Target locked on. You think you're a robot? Hunter Gear? Gear? Robot? It's a conspiracy. I'm convinced. Remoraid and a Magnemite. A Magnemite's gonna be the only annoying one because it's steel type. I and Slugma doesn't have any moves yet. Ugh. Just Shadow Rush it. I actually liked Remoraid's Evolve Form Octillery. Um, it gets a pretty good move set because it gets all the beams. I think it gets Bubble Beam, Ice Beam, Psy Beam, and then it also gets Octazooka, which is a special water type move only for it. I 
I should have paralyzed the Magnemite. Well, that wouldn't make a difference, really. Rimmerade's just not gonna get to attack again. Okay, so Magnemite's the slowest. So yeah, we'll be able to finish it no problem next turn. Thundershock. I was expecting Sonic Boom. Well, Pooper Doodle. That wasn't what we wanted. Just, um, yeah, Slugma. Go, go. Hey, did Slugma get a new move? Yawn. Oh yeah, he has Yawn. I need Slugma to get a fire move to make... I think it actually gets Flamethrower. Like, they get really strong moves whenever you um, purify them. Because Ms. Drevis gets Shadow Ball. Um, I think Slugma does get Flamethrower. So yeah, like, there's some really strong moves. Abnormality detected in friendly Pokemon. What? I don't... I don't know what that guy's issue was. Did he think he was a Pokemon? Yes, I would like to restore my Pokemon to full health. Wait! This binder behind me is glowing. It's shiny! Touch it. An end file. End file H is written on the cover. Read it? Yeah, we will. Hyper mode. Shadow Pokemon, perhaps because of their own overwhelming power, may behave abnorm abnormally at times. They may engage in behavior as ignoring orders, even turning on their own trainers in battle. This I have named Hyper Mode. On the plus side, Hyper Mode raises the critical ratio of Shadow Rush. However, Hyper Mode also prevents the use of items on the Pokemon. Hyper Mode is easily dispelled by calling the Pokemon by name. However, the method has a major drawback. Calling Shadow Pokemon's name causes the closed door of its heart to loosen and even open. Further research is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab Chief In. In. In or in? In. Because in sounds like I'm missing a syllable. Chest! Move! My beloved Pokemon! See? Giggle. Fresh prey. I'm gonna believe that I was actually supposed to read that as a giggle and not him going hee 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 because I feel like it would have said hee 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 so he definitely said giggle giggle Espeon um yeah just gang up on him XP me! That's fine, you can use Tail Whip all day long. Use the Tail Whip. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I won't say that. Sorry, I was looking at something else. Curse of having many monitors! There's always other stuff going on. Goodbye, Wooper. May you never become a Quagsire. Hey, my beloved Pokemon! If you love him so much, don't just attack random people. Wow, my beloved Pokemon are all beat up. Don't attack random people, you don't know how strong they are. What's wrong with you? What's this little alcove over here? The shelves are lined with apparently difficult books. How about these? Apparently difficult books. Are all books difficult to you, protagonist? Ooh, five for eight balls. Neat. All right, this guy, let's go, big guy. Would you like bug Pokemon drawn to a kid? I'm going with these Pokemon. Are you going to have flying Pokemon or fire type? Because are you talking about bugs? Or are you going to have fighting type? Because you're a bodybuilder and that's 
Oh, no, electric Pokemon. I was just being terrible. Stereotyping him based on having being a bodybuilder and having fighting type Pokemon. That really is terrible. Don't stereotype, kids. Don't do it. Good, Electric's gonna go down real fast. Shockwave. Interesting. Hey. Goodbye, Electric. This is actually going a lot easier than I remember it the first time I came through here. I could be just completely making that up though. Hey, level 30! Swift! Um, yes, because I don't like attacking with the power of Frim Chip. That's another, um, franchise. The power of friendship. Hope Miss Drevis can get the attack in and not be fully paralyzed. Nice, we did it, we did it. This wasn't good enough, this is a dilemma. Darn right it wasn't good enough. Darn right. No glory for the fallen, I'm crushed! I'm sorry, Ackman. I must use the Paralyze heal though, because you paralyzed my Ms. Drevis! Good. Hi there, cowgirl. <laughs> Come and get some, we're gunning our engines! I feel like I should have tried to make that voice more feminine. But you know what? No. No. We're gonna go with it. It's what it is. Oh. Sorry about that. Big ol' yawn. It's been an exhausting few days. <gasps> Wait! It won't work against Doe Duo, but I have Shadow Ball again. Ms. Drebus has Shadow Ball. Oh my goodness, that's such a good move. Isn't it like 80 or 90 power? I think. That did 2 damage per hit. Wait, what type is Swab Blue? I don't know, but we're not gonna deal with it because I'm pretty sure it's normal. Wait, what just happened? Oof! Ooh! Wow, that was a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Get out of here, Ladyba. I want to look up the power on Shadow Ball.
dropped in the dirt. I only lost because because I didn't have a shadow Pokemon this time. You guys really think shadow Pokemon are that good? Alright, two things. I want to look at... 80. Nice. And I also want to use a potion. On both of them. Because Ms. Drebus deserves some love too. <laughs> Although that said tuna. I thought that said hunter tuna. I might be too tired to be doing this. Snow runt and a spiel. Not bad. Yeah, we'll tag team them. Spiel should go down from this, considering how strong Shadow Ball is. The music just seems so loud when I'm in battles. Crazy, but then outside of battles, it seems like so much less. I don't know. Now, I'm not really worried about the PP of Shadow Ball because we're gonna have to go back and heal soon. Well, before I run out of PP on Shadow Ball, and if I do, I'll put Slugma in. No big deal. Goodbye, Snow Run. How'd this happen? I don't know, Tuna. How did it happen? How did it happen, Tuna? Makes me think of the else. So admit it! My Pokemon are decent, huh? Even though they can't win. Makes me think of the office when Andy called Jim Tuna. I'm gonna guess the other shelf is difficult books. I don't want to be mean to our protagonist, but why is every book a difficult book? Ooh, a revive. And thankfully, this is not a Nuzlocke, so we can revive. My Pokemon can dance with the elegance even in a dump like this. See, if fairy was a thing, I'd assume you had fairy Pokemon from that. I never really thought of Horsey and Oddish dancing elegantly. I mean... Maybe, but they're not really the ones that'd be like, yes, that is an elegant Pokemon. Goodbye, Oddish. It's gonna do a lot of damage to Horsey. Ooh, and it was a crit. Poor little Oddish. The Sandstrew. I always like Sandshrew and Sandslash. I don't know why, I don't really have a particular reason, but it always just some I really liked. And I really like the Alolan ones too. Like Alolan Sandslash is awesome. Alright, so I'll take care of Horsey and leave Sandshrew really damaged. Really, really damaged. Wow. Dragon Dance. Oh yeah, because you do become a dragon type in this gen already. That was in gen 2, I think you became a dragon. Cool. Horsey down. Let's see what Sandshrew's going to do. Sword Stance. Now, you all really like to boost your stats, but... It's not going to help. hey -oh. 
dun dun. Oh yeah. The end is always so cruelly pitiless. Oh well. Are you the last one? Now what compels someone like you to come here just for the sake of getting thrashed by me? Lady, you are ripped. Are those abs? Like they actually put abs through the shirt? Or am I imagining that? We should get another up close view eventually. I swear though, there's abs. Should finish Tentacool. Yep. Thanks for the free XP! Awesome. One more level and then if we bring in Umbreon. How does Ghost do against Dart? Not bad, not bad. Or is Cacnea already dark or is it only when it gets to um, Cacturn? I think it's only Cacturn that's... Oh, swaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
battle. Well then. Why did that do so much damage? It's 10 levels below me! Alright, but this Misdrevis is ready to be purified. Oh my goodness! What the heck is going on? That did 24 damage that time! Screw it! Shadow Rush Remoraid! Oh my gosh! Goodbye Love Disc! Wow! Shadow Rush, don't kill it. Ugh. Ugh. I really wanted an Octillery. I really did. I like Octillery. My Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you better be prepared for the consequences. I'm just upset now. I don't get my artillery right away. I'm very upset, Firma. I don't even care about your Mantine. I'm gonna catch it anyway, though. Yeah, yeah, I'll catch your stupid man time. Get rid of Apom. Stupid level 20. Yay! Get rid of Apom. Can't hit it with Shadow Ball anyway. We have a ferret. I just thought of the name. I want to give my ferret whenever I purify it. It's the best name. Best name. Confusion on ferret. Shadow Rush ferret. I want to get that ferret out of here. Hey -o. Yeah, I figured it would outspeed um, Ms. Drevis, but dang, that confusion was awesome. Bubble Beam. Oof. Alright, we're gonna bring in Skip Loom. Because Mantine, shh, I can hit it with grass moves and it won't deal too much damage. What? Wait. Oh, Swift hits both of them. Cool. That did nothing. That did literally nothing to Mantine. Wow! Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, that's right. We already caught the Yenma. What am I thinking? I don't know. He put to sleep! <coughs> I love how Mantine has Remoraid under its wings, like as torpedoes. It's 
really cool. Yanma should outspeed Skip Loom. It just tackled us. It missed! It's got like a 5% chance to miss! No way! Really? Really, Skip Loom? Yeah, couldn't even finish, finish off Yanma. Now it's probably gonna outspeed um, Espeon. It did. And now Espeon's gonna die. Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with yourself, Skip Loom? Espeon died because of you. Go Umbreon because we can't send out Slugma. That was a short sleep, man time. Super short sleep. Stupid speed boost. Just bite it. Put it back to sleep. Who are you dealing 20 damage to? Espeon or Umbreon. Oh, Umbreon should level up after this. That'll be nice. You need to be put to sleep right now. Right meow. Good. Stay asleep. I remember Mantine being a pain to catch. Stupid water flying Pokemon. Boom, get off my screen, Yanma. Yanma, Yanma. I said Umbreon's gonna level up. Alright, bite. Mega Drain. Seems like a lot, but wait and see! Did almost nothing. This is what I was talking about with Mantine being a pain. It's just a friggin' wall. And now it woke up. Oh, it's gonna deal so much damage. Don't hit Skip Lube. Oh, just don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, it's in the yellow! And start chunking Pokeballs. Yeah, we're gonna use it for Pokeballs first. Snag Ball! You know, I wonder what our character's motive is. Oh well, that was that was really easy. Cause he breaks away from this gang he was a part of, and he snagged Pokemon before because he's they call him the best snagger on the team. So what is his motivation for wrecking their hideout, his team's hideout, stealing their device, running into a random girl in a sack, and deciding to just steal all the shadow Pokemon just because she said so. Like, who does that? Why were you a thief before? What was your life? What was your life? Breathe. Let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Righto, Firma. Ultra Super Fire Dash. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I think we're actually going to call it quits here. We've gone a little bit over time. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, when we come back, we will uh, talk to this poor man sitting on the floor and see what's up. So thank you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And take care for now.